All right, good afternoon, everyone. We're gonna go up to Da Yokung today to check out the volcanic vents in Taiwan. We're gonna start down through this river valley and hike up, see where we can get. It takes about two hours to get up to the fields from here. So this is the view, but we need to try to get down through here first, head up this river valley right here, and just go up through the mountain and see where we come out on the other side. It's somewhere up above and beyond that ridge right there. Another quick glimpse where we're at up on the mountainside. We're right at the edge of a kind of a water pool mixed with sulfur that's bubbling up. It's liquid sulfur coming out of here. Pretty interesting stuff. Luckily the wind's going in a single direction, but you can see that bubbling behind me. Let's take a look. Gonna get a little closer from the backside here. I haven't seen anything splashing, although doesn't say nothing couldn't splash. But I'm using the best caution I can, Mom. <laughs> trying to get up through this thing. It's going to take a little while longer. Some of these boulders are kind of bigger and uh, been stepping through some water. Luckily it's not that cold this time of the year. Warmed up considerably since last month. Here I'll show you the vent behind up here. Still got to bang through the grass for uh, a little more. Another kilometer or so through the grass. You can see the vent directly right there coming up through uh, the grass. So let me pull this up here. As you can see, it's starting to rain a little bit. That's all right. Well, this grass is kind of fun, taller than me for sure. And I'm just a little over six feet tall. So this grass, eight, nine feet tall, pretty interesting elephant grass stuff here. It used to be the largest uh, sulfur mining area in Taiwan. You can see just below the vent there at the bottom right, some old mining equipment laying around. This uh, smaller vent over here is incredibly covered with crystals. This is a really good one. We're going to go take a look at that. Pressure's not nearly as high as after the Japanese quakes when I was here the first time. But there's still some steam coming out. Rarely anybody comes up here. We had to bash through the, the grasses for about 15 minutes to get up here, the big elephant grass. But as you can see, it's kind of a moonisk landscape area. But on the other side, you get right into the mountains again. So it's just this one isolated pocket of volcanic activity and breakthroughs. But the pressure this time is definitely far less than it was during the Japanese eruption. Just the sounds are different. Uh, the steam coming out is different. Just everything's different. It seems like whatever was pushing on the magma and the crust at that time, causing an extra outgassing here in Taiwan, has ceased for now. Who knows if there's an uptick in Japan again? Could easily see something else like that occur once more. And uh, now we'll jump back up here again if it does, so we can get two comparisons in a single day. These crystals are amazing. I'm going to jump you down here so you can take a look at the formations. And here's a real beautiful spot right here. of a kind of a water pool mixed with sulfur that's bubbling up. It's liquid sulfur coming out of here. Pretty interesting stuff. Luckily the wind's going in a single direction, but you can see that bubbling behind me. Let's take a look. This is sulfur coming out. 
Bendy McBend face. Yeah, whoosh. <laughs> That's on your face. Kind of like ocean waves. Standing next to this live thing here, it's pretty interesting. Okay, let's go for a little walk. Here's how we get out of this place. It's how we got in as well. Taking a look through the grasses here. Kind of wet. Make sure you don't walk off a cliff in the wrong direction here. That last event was pretty impressive. I can say that I felt the energy coming out of the earth at that point. It was pretty impressive. So here we are. This is what the terrain is like. If you come out here to Da Yulkung and decide to wander around yourself to the old mining camp, there's a lot of old mining equipment still laying around, pipes and things that they didn't take with them. You can see the event over here coming up still. But it is this grass area. You can continue to hike around. We're gonna try to find our way back out of here down the other side of the mountain. Oh yeah, see the, so these are our trail markers. We're looking for these as we go along. Keep coming to the events here in Taiwan as there's any type of seismicity or volcanic events throughout Asia and the planet. We'll see if we can find some correlation as Taiwan being a proxy since there's no breakthrough and there's only steam coming and no magma activity on the island. Kung was definitely interesting. I really like the energy and the bubbling up there of the sulfur, liquid sulfur mixed with water out of that vent. Gonna go up to Bai Yen next time, which is a place that has also volcanic steam breakthroughs. Take a look next weekend when I have a little bit of extra time. Hope you got something out of the video and enjoyed watching a little bit of nature, even if you're stuck in a city. See you later. Bye. If you do walk around Da Yukung, there's a few other hot spring areas up there for you to explore. Although it is too hot for you to put your feet or body into. A few canyons running through there, but the rocks are really brittle due to the sulfur dioxide decomposing the environment around there. The mining camp was really interesting. A lot of extra equipment, rock walls, that sort of thing that the miners had built and left up there. There's a few other areas where there's sulfur formations and vents, but you definitely need to take care of where the wind is blowing. You do not want that cloud of sulfur dioxide rolling over you. Additionally, this mud up there, about 80 degrees Celsius, you don't want to slip in that or have a breakthrough on your foot. Extreme caution is urged walking around the riverbed area. And as you're wandering around, you're going to find an enormous amount of sulfur crystals up there for you to look at. And coming down out of the mountain, a few vistas for you as you get some breaks through the vegetation. But there's always time to stop to take a look at the beauty of nature, ferns, flowers. And at the end of the trailhead, you come down to a white lily farm. Great coffee there. Then you can hop a motorcycle taxi back to the National Park headquarters at Yangmingshan.